Thank you, Lord. You stand holy forever, O oh Lord. Lord, I believe your name alone is glorified in this place, Lord. No other name, no other name but the name of Jesus. No other name, no position, no power. Only your name, O oh Father. Thank you, Jesus. It's not yoga, Lord. Lord, I believe it's your name, Jesus, through this praise moves, O oh Father. You alone be exalted in every sister's life. You alone be exalted. We lift your name on high, O Lord. From India, we lift your name on high, Jesus. Your name on high, O Lord. We give you that praise, O Lord, that yada, Lord God. We praise and worship you in Jesus' name. Amen. I guess your body is all warmed up. Uh, welcome, sisters, for joining. Thank you so much. And. Uh, Yes, we declare that Jesus Christ is Lord. There's no other name above his name. Hallelujah. So let's get into praise most postures. We're going to do a few postures. So I hope you all can hear me. Yes. I hope you enjoyed the flag worship. Okay. So we're going to begin with uh, something very, very important. That is the Mount Zion the foundational scripture of our praise moves. Welcome to praise moves for the sisters who are new. It really changed my life and I believe it's going to change your life. So as I take you through this journey of a few postures, I believe the Lord is going to transform your mind and heal you completely. Okay, so let's begin. Just relax, breathe in, breathe deeply and breathe out. Just relax your body, relax your knees, spread the weight around, tuck your pelvis, tighten your glutes, your abdomen, rotate your shoulders forward and backward. Now let's just rotate our shoulders. Yes. Just want to thank God for these wonderful shoulders, for these fingers, for these arms. 
as women, we are able to do all the work because of all these wonderful parts of our body. I want to thank God for that. And gently bring your arms down. Let's stand straight, lift up to the crown of your head as if you're adding in another inch to your height. And let's say the verse from Psalms chapter 3, verse 3. But you, O oh Lord, you can repeat after me, though you're stayed muted. But you, O oh Lord, are a shield for me, my glory and the lifter of my head. I guess all the sisters here want to say one big thank you to God because he did not put you to shame. He did not finish your case by just stopping somewhere in between. God completed what he has begun. He never put your face to shame. He loves you so much. He is your shield. He will protect you. He will guide you. He is your shield. Amen. Breathe in and breathe out. Relax. And let's say the Mount Zion scripture. I believe as you're saying the scripture, you will not be moved because you are righteous and you will not be moved. You will not be shaken. The enemy may throw a lot of things against you for you to stumble or for you to waver. But let me tell you, you are like Mount Zion because you are righteous. You are washed by the blood of Jesus and you are like Mount Zion. So I just want you to repeat after me. Yes, bring your hands down, relax. Those who trust in the Lord, I believe you're trusting the Lord, are like Mount Zion. Amen which cannot be moved, but abides forever. Psalms 125, verse 1. Father God, we want to thank you that we are not just uh, like some mountain, some hill, or some anthill, or some sand, but we are like Mount Zion. You compared us with Mount Zion. Thank you so much, Lord, that we are firm we are strong because you are our rock, Lord. Thank you, Father. Amen. Next, let's go to the read. If this is new for you, I will stand in my side so that you can see me. You can stand straight. I will stand sidewards. So inhale. And then exhale as you bend your knees, slightly bend your knees. Now sweep your arms upward, lock your thumb, reach upward, let your hand go over your ears and tighten your back so it will protect your, you know, behind the lower back. And just say this verse after me. A bruised reed, he will not break. A smoking flax, he will not quench. Isaiah 42, verse 3. Lord, you give beauty for ashes, Lord. We will never be broken. We will never be quenched, Lord. We're going to rise up, Lord. You raise me up again, oh Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father, for the restoration and transformation in our sisters, Lord. In your name we pray. Amen. Breathe in, breathe out. Slowly come to Mount Zion posture. And the next posture, what we're going to do is a very powerful posture. Maybe sisters here, if you're um, thinking that you are getting old, I can't do much. I'm losing my strength. My bones are becoming weak. Let me tell you something. God is restoring and renewing your strength like an eagle. Amen. So as you do this posture as an eagle, 
I believe the Lord is renewing your strength. Whoever has told that you can't do anything, you are useless, you won't amount to anything, you're going to prove them wrong by declaring the scripture today. The Lord is going to strengthen you and he's going to restore every cell in your body today in Jesus' name because you are righteous and the righteous man's bones will not be broken. You're going to flourish. So I want to encourage every sister, as you do this posture, let there be a healing in your body. So again, I'm going to stand sideways so that you can see me. So from Mount Zion, let's come to Mount Zion, relax, breathe in, and slowly hinge at your waist. I want you to hinge at your waist, lower your torso, bend your knees, you can bend your knees, and sweep your arms down and back. Just keep your, keep, let it be straight from, from the crown of your head. So you are like an eagle now, and you're going to inhale and say the whole scripture, but those who wait upon the Lord will renew their strength they shall mount up with wings like eagle. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Isaiah 40, 31. Breathe in, breathe out, and come to Mount Zion. I hope that was a real renewal scripture. And now we are going to go to the floor. And ask him to lead him to Ali Baba's house again. So I want you to go to the floor. Can you all hear me? Oh, sorry. Yes. Yes. <clears throat> so we're going to go to the floor. This posture here in India, they say it's a snake posture. Cobra posture, that's what they say. But you know what? Dr. Laurit um, beautifully said one thing. The enemy, Satan, is always, he's not original. He's duplicate. He has stolen everything from us. So Jesus, our Redeemer, redeemed and restored everything back to us. So this wine position that we're going to do, we're going to stay connected with him. And as you stay connected with him, you are going to bear much fruit today. So I bless all the sisters. As you do this, you're connected with him. You're going to abide with him. You're going to have a 24 bar 7 connection with Jesus. Amen. I believe as you do this, you're connected with him. Amen. So let's do this. You have to lie prone on the floor, on your belly. So. I prone on the floor. Spread your hands on the floor under your shoulder. Keep your legs together. I hope you can see me. And slowly glide, you know, your forehead, your nose, your chin, and just look up the ceiling. Look up. And let's say this verse, I am the wine, you are the branches. He who abides in me, and I in him, bears much fruit. Without me, you can do nothing. John 15, 5. Lord, we just want to abide with you. We don't want to go away from the wine dresser. We want to stay connected with you, Lord. This is our heart's desire. And I know you live inside of us. You will never leave us, nor forsake us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Slowly. Come to your knees. We're going to do a last 
posture, and that is called shalom. So shalom is a very uh, amazing posture. I guarantee you that um, shalom is going to deliver many of you because I was delivered from so many uh, past hurts, so many reasons of me being self, you know, going through self-pity. I didn't get this. I didn't get that. I used to sometimes complain. But then when the peace of God came on me, everything changed. So when I was doing shalom during my class, before I became a CPI, I got delivered. So I believe many sisters here, when you're doing shalom, you are going to experience the peace of God. Do you agree with that? So I believe all of you are going to have such an amazing peace, shalom on you today. Whatever work you're doing today, you're going to experience the peace of God inside out, outside inside. The whole thing is just drenched in the peace of God. So let's do the shalom. You can just kneel down like this, how I'm kneeling down. Breathe in. Yes, you can take your time. Yeah. Yes, I hope you all are in that position. Yes. And then just take your hand. Keep it on your chest. You can touch your shoulder. Breathe in. And let's say the words. For he himself is my peace. Ephesians 2.14, Shalom. Let's switch the hands. For he himself is my peace. Ephesians 2.14. Thank you, Lord God. I just speak the shalom on our sisters this morning. Whatever they're doing right now, whatever they're going through, if there's any storm that our sisters are going through, if there's anything that is bothering our sisters, I believe they're going to experience the shalom. Thank you, Lord for the shalom presence. The Lord says, when you fix your mind on him, he will keep you in perfect peace. So whatever your problem is today, whatever you're going through, just cast your burdens today on Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Breathe in, breathe out. You can relax in this position and I'm gonna pray and I'm gonna close. Thank you, Lord God. I pray for all our sisters right now. Thank you so much, oh Lord God. I believe they're going to experience this amazing peace that is going to hover them. The shalom is going to follow them. Surely goodness and mercy is going to follow them. It's going to chase them wherever they go and whatever they do, Lord. Today is a blessed day for them. This is the day that you are made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. The joy of the Lord is their strength. They're going to laugh. The oil of joy is just poured upon them, Lord. Everyone is going to wonder how are they peaceful in the midst of this turmoil. Because it is you, Lord. Jehovah Shalom, who is hovering around them, Lord who is inside of them, Lord. Thank you, and we praise you, Lord. Bless our praise moves ministry. Bless Dr. Laurette and all that she does and each and every one. Thank you, and we praise you. Bless all our wonderful sisters, all the sisters who joined. Lord, we bless them. We bless um, Sister Adele, Daniel, Linda, sister. Monique, and many other precious sisters who couldn't join, we bless them. 
In Jesus' name we pray. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance and give you the peace that passes all human understanding. In Jesus' name we pray. And everyone say amen and God bless you. Have a wonderful day. I believe we have declared that Jesus is Lord here in India. Amen. God bless you. Love you all. Thank you all Very for joining. Good. Great class. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. I wanted to unmute. Thank you so much. Yes, sister. God bless you too. Thank you for doing this today. Hope you have a wonderful, awesome day, sister. You too. Thank you, yep. sister. Love you. Love bye you bye. too. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, bye -bye. sister. Uh, I know how to pronounce sister's name. Adel or? Okay.